Hello, hi everyone, all the Pega enthusiasts. I welcome you to my channel BPM for Business. This is a channel purely meant to learn about Pega and other BPM products as well. Uh, right now, today we are focusing on helping you understand how exactly you can install Pega 8.7 Personal Edition on your local desktop or system. First of all, uh, to do that, you will need to know the system requirements. To understand the system requirements, let us try to quickly check what is my current configuration. And let me do dxdiag from the run prompt. Okay, run the command dxdiag. You will see that once you run it, you will see what is the the processor I have i7 minimum you would need something like i3 to start it you know and then you will need a RAM at least of 8 GB 4 GB also works but your system might slightly be slow along with that you would need 20 GB of storage space to run this software because the software is slightly big you will need 20 GB of storage space to run the personal edition and the link to download the personal edition I'll be putting in the videos description section please click on the link to get the download perfect you can also get the download from Pega Academy but you will need to have access to that to avoid the hassle I have added that particular software onto a shared drive you can download from there I'll put the link in the description perfect now with that I have already downloaded the software and I have kept it for the installation so to do the installation what you would need is to start with let me open the downloads where I have downloaded software introduction and then BPM and Pega. so once you download you would receive a zip folder with around 4.3 GB of file once you receive that right click on that and then extract extract to the new directory which I have already done you just click extract and this particular directory will be generated and once you open this directory you will see a lot of files and directories there so you will see there is something called as install.bat focus on this thing install dot bat file how do i know it's a bat file install followed by windows batch file is what i will see here so to install you will need to run this file so the best way to run what i have understood is try to go on the directory browser here click on this and just type cmd you can double click on this file and also you can do it but i found this is more you know interesting i just do cmd here when i hit enter this opens a command prompt for me exactly on the directory where this particular file is sitting if you see the directory is same right and now here I just type I and click on tab this will give me install.bat what are we trying to do here we are trying to run this batch file to install Pega let me hit enter and if you see the installation has kick started I see a message in my command prompt telling Pega platform installation and upgrade assistant this window will launch other installation windows in the sense it's generating the new window which will perform this installation let us see how does it happen once you get this particular pop-up personal edition Pega platform personal edition we are do going ahead with 8.7 version let me click next it is telling there are some prerequisites like you know uh, the browser and stuff the same thing which I told you before installing you need to know that there is sufficient space and stuff sign this agreement say you accept it of course if you are interested you can read it what we are seeing here is what is going to be installed initialization is happening a uh, database server is going to come up uh, it's going to load a uh, database server and also it's going to create desktop shortcuts which you can use and it also launches a Pega platform that's good so I'll do next 
and here you get to choose which directory you want to install this particular software in i would choose something which has sufficient space like i said we need to have sufficient space to install this particular software so i will choose something which has sufficient space under this thing under ppm under pega i would say i would create a new directory called 8.7 hyphen or underscore is better and I tell installation and then I would say okay let me use this next next so if you see here the next piece which will it will ask for is one is once you give your directory it will ask you if these ports are available so if you want any different ports you can give that if not you can check if these ports are available just click port availability now i see both the ports one port for my tomcat server 8080 is available and 5432 is my database port both are available that's a good thing perfect now let me say okay and let me say move ahead and say next and once i do start what this will do this will initiate my installation so if you see uh, Pega is doing some you know to install this it's creating some stuff and running some scripts which is fine you know just need to let this happen for around I mean it takes approximately uh, 10 minutes is what I have seen so if you see they also tell that here this process should take 5 to 10 minutes and then in this 10 minutes you will see that the installation will go through perfect so i just paused for some time while this was going on and i could see it took around 18 minutes 20 seconds to complete this installation so it is quite normal that it will take this much time so we need to have some patience you know in getting this installed and you will see a successful message telling the build is successful prpc launching starting tomcat and you know uh, launching the pega platform browser is what you will see and you will also see rule base load complete okay this message hope we were able to understand how the setup runs once you trigger the install.pat i'll click ok on this also when you get some errors you will see errors here right there is one output and one error tab under which you will see errors if you see any errors please feel free to comment in the comment section and i'll help you out uh, with whatever errors you get and then you will see the now that we are done with the installation i'll click exit and you'll see the uh, login page has popped up once the installation got over uh, it got it popped up this particular page where i can see uh, you know the pega login uh, page so here i can log in using administrator at pega.com and the password is install okay i already have it saved so it is popping up like that so and then i can click login and this should take me inside administrator at pega.com the url is localhost colon 8080 forward slash pr web is what you can use or i'll show you another way in which you can uh, access it so another way in which you can access it is for example let me go to my command prompt cmd right and i'd say uh, ip config this will give me the ip my environment is uh, you know my system is pointed towards it's bringing up the sticker second mode disconnected okay ip perfect so if you see my ip is 192.168.1.142 this is my ip okay and i can access this particular uh, instance using this as well how i'll show you that right now i'm trying to use this is one of the browsers i'm using okay and then let me try to use another browser as well hold on let me click on the tab here 
uh, see this is the IP I'm using so what you can do you can just instead of local host you can point to your IP also the URL would be exactly similar to this 192.168.1.142 colon 8080 forward slash PR web okay I can use that also let me use this on another browser I'm just opening Mozilla to test this out right I'm just showing you two different ways using which you can hit your environment and access it right so right now uh, we are loading one in this is something which got loaded in Chrome see I pointed it to 192.168.1.142 this also loads me the same page and here I am trying to log in using localhost this also takes me through the same environment so the URL is hostname port and forward slash PR web and you can give login credentials as administrator at uh, forward slash administrator at pega.com forward slash install and I will do that here as well forward slash install this should take me through into the application if you see now i'm able to access the pega application successfully hope this helps you understand how exactly you can uh, login into pega personal edition by installing it also something which you should notice is when you try to hit the url you will see the host is ip here followed by port which we checked initially if it was available 8080 the tomcat port and you will see something called as pr web pr web is a war file under which the entire application is wrapped up to understand that what we can do we can go to the installation you know go to the installation 8.7 installation directory which we chose go inside personal installation and then look for something called as tomcat and inside the tomcat you will see there is something called as web apps this is where all the applications get installed if you open the web apps you'll see pr web here this pr web is the exact web file which we are referring to from the browser pr web colon 8080 forward slash pr web this is the uh, the war file we are referring to under which the application is bundled we also have a help file pr help dot bar this is also deployed if you see PR web and PR help both are deployed also there is something called as manager which is deployed so these are the applications which get deployed under Tomcat which the folder directory called web apps is what the system uses to deploy any application okay, any web application so that's why you see PR web here does it make sense this way there are many more configurations we will be understanding further help and PR web both are the applications which have been installed which we will be accessing from here so right now we saw a successful installation of Pega 8.7 personal edition hope this helps thank you leave me a comment and let me know if you have any issues